Hi, my name's Trev Hutchings, and this is my tutorial on how to pro mix your song in BandLab, part one. Now, the purpose of mixing your song is to mix your tracks so they can be heard as clearly as possible in the song mix. And in this part one, I will look at track volume. Okay, so our main objectives here are to make sure each track is not so loud that it's creating clipping distortion. And it's not so loud that it drowns out any of the other tracks. So tap on the mixer settings icon. Then tap on the solo icon on your primary vocal track. Now tap on the play icon then watch the master volume meter. You want the green meter line to be reaching about halfway across the meter, with the louder parts of the vocals causing the green line not to go further than about two thirds of the way along the master volume meter. If the meter is going higher than halfway, drag the dot on the volume slider to the left to reduce the track volume. If the green meter is going lower than halfway, drag the dot on the volume slider to the right to increase the volume. If the green line is reaching about halfway, but the louder vocals are causing the green line to go higher than about two thirds of the way along the meter, or even making the end of the meter light up red, you will need to add a compressor to the vocal track to even out the track volume. And to do this, tap on the mixer settings icon again, Double tap on the vocal track header, tap on effects. Now tap on the plus icon if you don't already have an effects preset on your track, or if like me you already have an effects preset, tap on the effects settings icon. If you already have a compressor on your track, you might want to adjust the settings of that compressor. Otherwise, tap on the plus icon. Scroll through the tabs and tap on the dynamics tab. Then tap on Digicomp. Now, BandLab does not have meters in effects. So getting the settings right does mean a bit of trial and error by trying some compressor settings, then checking the master volume meter in the song mixer settings. Also, adding the compressor might increase the track volume, so you might need to reduce the track volume after you've added a compressor. So here are my guideline settings, but you may need to change these to suit your track. Attack sets how fast the compressor works. So if the green line on the master volume meter has large spikes of volume that are quick but short, drag the dot on the attack slider to the left or tap on the attack text box. Type in 5 and tap on save. Release sets how long the compressor reduces the volume. Tap on the release text box. Type in 100. And tap on save. Threshold sets the volume level that the compressor starts to compress above. Tap on the threshold text box. 
type in minus 18 and tap on save. Ratio sets the amount of compression, so effectively controls how much louder than the threshold louder sounds can get. Tap on the ratio text box, type in 20 and tap on save. This will set ratio to the maximum compression. Knee helps to smooth out the compression effect so it is not so obvious by setting how gradually the compression is increased to the full compression. Tap on the knee text box. Type in zero. And tap on save. This will effectively turn knee off. Now tap on the back arrow. Tap on the X icon. Then tap on the mixer settings icon. Now tap on the play icon and check the master volume meter again. Here, because of the compressor, I now need to reduce the volume of the vocals track. Once you are happy, the track volume is within my guidelines. Tap on the solo icon to turn off solo. Now press on the solo icon on one of the other tracks and do the same process. And continue with all the other tracks. Once you have done all the tracks, tap on the solo icon on all the vocal tracks. Now tap on the play icon and drag the dot on the slider on any track that sounds louder than the primary vocal track until the track volume is correct. Duplicate vocal tracks should be reduced in volume by dragging the dot on the volume slider left, so they blend into the primary vocal track. Keep watching the master volume meter, as you may need to adjust the volume of the vocal tracks lower if the meter starts to show red. Now tap on the solo icon on the drum tracks and drag the dot on the volume slider to the left if the drum tracks are too loud against the vocal tracks until the drums are the correct volume.
Now do the same with all the other tracks, adding one track at a time, leveling the volume, then adding the next track. All volume changes should only be to reduce the track's volume. So you should only move the dot on the volume sliders left. Don't worry if the song sounds too quiet. Setting the whole song's volume is done at the mastering stage. Once you've done all the tracks, tap on the solo icons to turn off solo for every track. Now tap on the play icon and watch the master volume meter to make sure the green light is not reaching the red zone. OK, now you are ready for the second part of mixing. And I will take you through the second part of mixing in part two. Now tap on the mixer settings icon again. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.